it's half past one in the morning and Amy and I are busy getting ready to hike up Mount Batur. So we should be at the top in time for a pretty awesome sunrise. Just finished our trek up the volcano. We were up there and we took a very long route back but it is definitely worth it. It's a seriously awesome experience. I dropped out of school when I was 11 years old and even for my family that's a pretty radical thing to do. I remember getting called into the principal's office and it was about the fifth time that year that I'd been called in and the principal was not impressed with me because again, I'd gone and organized my grade into a distribution network and they were selling my products at the school and in surrounding communities. And this time he had brought my father in. So my father and I sat there and the principal explained to us in no uncertain terms that school was a place for learning, not a place for doing business. Now, I come from quite an entrepreneurial family, so when my father found out that school was a place for learning and not a place for business, he decided that he was going to give me an option. He said that if I'd like, I can drop out of school and I can come work with him. So I decided that I was going to do that. I left school behind at a very young age. And over the next couple of years, my dad and I set up a number of different companies together. So while my friends were busy studying geography and geometry and whatever else it is you study in school, I was learning about reading balance sheets and allocating capital and things like that. So I had a very different education. It's not what most people would consider conventional and I definitely didn't do anything formal. Because I left school so young, most people just assumed that I was gonna grow up to be just another dropout loser. They assumed that because I had no education, that I had no prospects, I'd have no drive and I'd just be nothing. So when I left home at 16 years old, I left determined to prove them wrong. Probably wasn't the healthiest thing I could use for fuel, but it is at the time what drove me. I wanted to build the biggest business, make the most money, achieve the most success possible so that I could prove to everybody that I had what it takes to succeed as a businessman. And that really was, for a very long time, the only thing that I thought about. For the next 10 years, I did nothing but work. I didn't take vacations or holidays or leave or even weekends. I worked and every now and then I slept. And it got to the point as I started becoming more successful and landing more clients, that I was working for 48 hours or even 72 hours straight. I'd wake up under my table, have no idea how I got there, crawl back onto my chair and get back to work. And that was my life. And eventually my body just couldn't. I started to collapse from exhaustion. It happened on a regular basis, but I didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't want people to know that I wasn't hacking it. I didn't even tell my wife. One day I was sitting around the dining room table with my wife and I felt this coming on. My vision started to blur. My head was feeling light. I was feeling really lightheaded. My body felt heavy. I tried to get away, but there's nowhere to go. And I collapsed. And when I opened my eyes, I was looking at my wife's frantic face. And she of course rushed me to hospital. And the doctor told me that if I didn't make a very dramatic change very quickly, that I needed to get comfortable with the idea of an early grave. And I came home that day with a totally new perspective. I realized that something needed to change and it needed to change quickly. The first thing I needed to do was figure out what kind of life I wanted to live. So I sat down with a piece of paper and I decided that I was just gonna write down everything that I wanted to do, see, learn, and give. And what was really surprising was how hard that process was. For the past 10 years, I had done nothing but work. So I had no idea what made me happy, what made me feel fulfilled. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So it took me quite a long time, but then I just started writing every off the wall, crazy idea that I could think of. And my idea was that after all that work, I wanted to have a period of just trying a bit of everything so that I could figure out what I wanted to do going forward, what made me happy. And once I had that, I looked at the list and it was pretty ambitious. Basically, I wanted to become a full-time travel and adventurer. I wanted to earn seven figures per year. I didn't want to work at all. And I had no idea even if that was possible. So I started doing some research and I was quite amazed to find that there's a whole subculture of people out there who already live like this. 
Um, I read a book called The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss and he calls this group of people the new rich. And I started to research them and I found that most of them have automated their income through online business or blogging. And so I decided that that was going to be the vehicle that I would use to fund my bucket list. I started to pick apart their marketing. I went through and bought their products, opted into their lists, um, subscribed to their blogs, looked at their advertising. And as I did that, I started to notice a pattern that pretty much every business that was doing six figures or more was using some version of the same model. And when I discovered that, I got really excited because once I'd seen the model, I couldn't unsee it. I found that on a daily basis, people were using that process to sell me products. I took everything that I'd observed and I put it into a basic action plan. And together with my partner at the time, we set up a very simple proof of concept website, a basic blog and an online store. And we didn't know if it was gonna work, so we didn't spend a huge amount of time on it. It took us less than a week to set the whole thing up. And once it is up and running, we paid for some ads to go out and the rest, as they say, is history. Within six weeks, we had our first thousand dollar day and I was blown away that our proof of concept was able to do that so quickly. And I got obsessed with this idea of monetizing blogs. And over a period of time, I started to understand the model better to the point where I was able to hit hundred thousand dollars or more in a day. And that's when Amy and I set off on a bucket listing adventure that is still going strong today. Life has been pretty crazy. My wife and I have traveled all over the globe. I've raced through India in a rickshaw. I've had a whole lot of time sailing down the coast of Tanzania in an 800 year old traditional African boat. I've got my skydiving license, I've got my paragliding license, I learned how to whitewater kayak, and basically I've been using my bucket list as a way to set my day's agenda. There was a moment during our travels, Amy and I were walking along a beach in Ahmed and I had been doing all this crazy stuff. We'd been traveling the world and having so much fun, but I still didn't feel like my life had much meaning. And we were talking about how there are so many people who are stuck in the same position that I was stuck in, but because they're not so intense and they don't burn out, they don't get an ultimatum. And as a result, they end up spending the rest of their lives stuck in that same machine. And I realized that there's a group of people who, if they knew what to do, would be willing to put in the work and do the learning and do what is necessary to set themselves free. And I decided right there on that beach that I would find those people. And I added a new item to my bucket list that day to help a million people automate their income. My goal isn't just to teach a million people how to automate their income. I want them to go out there and implement it. And our competitions do two things. Number one, it gives them a reason to get started. Number two, it gives them something to aim for. So the way that the competition works is I'll take a group of people under my wing and for a period of time, I will coach them and mentor them and help them to set up an automated online business. If they have a blog, I'll show them how to monetize it. If they don't have a blog, I'll show them how to set it up from scratch. And at the end of that period, the person who set up the best online business, made the most money, etc., wins an amazing trip to some exotic corner of the globe. When we launched the first competition, I was so excited to see this whole community of people working together towards a common goal. And new people are joining the movement every day. Hey guys, I hope that you found my story encouraging and inspiring. If you would like to be one of the million and would like to get involved with one of our competitions, then click on the link. It's gonna be somewhere around this video. It's gonna take you to a page. It'll give you more information and show you how you can get started.